Worst part of them. Oh, no toilet paper. Are you kidding? Shh. <laughs> Where's my toilet? Hi, I'm Montana Dana, and on today's episode of Girl vs. Band, the wind breaks my back door, the wind breaks my camera, the wind breaks my macrame mandala, and the wind breaks the skin on and around my kneecap. But it cannot break my spirit. Or can it? So, the plan for today is to film my van tour video. We cleaned every nook and cranny, got Mac spotless, and found a beautiful place to film. And then the wind happened. does not want me to film anything today. Like seriously? It was super chill. No wind at all, like five seconds ago. And the second I press record. We're just gonna go ahead and not get Instagram shots and get on the road. That picture is probably really cute though. Ugh. The wind is just not my friend. But it's okay, I have an idea. Let's go into Snow Canyon where there's less wind and we don't have red sand blowing all over our white pillows. Is that all you? Build it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Neat. Mind if I take a picture? Sure. That turns me on. Huh? Did he just say that turns me on? Rewind. That turns me on. That turns me on. I think he just said that turns me on. And that's what I heard when he said it. And that's why I was like, Jigga what? Jigga who? That turns me on. Huh? That's the car going. Oh. Now, how long have you been traveling with that? Yeah. About a month. Yeah. Full time? Yep. And where are you from? Here. Oh, are you? Yeah. All right, you gonna look at me? Yeah. Thank you. So for all y'all out there saying that I'm being too hard on the creepy people, look how nice I was to this creepy ass guy. I have been watching so many people on YouTube that are living out of a camper and RV. I know, crazy. It is, it's amazing. I think since COVID hit a lot more people, Oh my god, you have an organ. Yeah, piano. Did you have to? Yeah, we're recording, but it's okay. Well, I didn't mean to interfere. Oh, no, you're good. No, I'm actually kind of mad at myself that I allowed him to take a photo of me after that. He was giving me some creepy vibes. Mad creepy vibes. Sure. Did I want him to take pictures of me in my van? No, I did not. I don't want to end up on the deep dark web somewhere. Just so you know, people come up to the van all the time. I talk to a lot of people. Like just now, I met Peter and Noreen. Super sweet people. So I just met some really sweet people and they're actually traveling around in a little Prius. Peter and Noreen. Hi guys. Yeah, they were telling me about some bluegrass music that's happening later. So. Awesome. Well, nice meeting you guys. Pleasure. But there are creepy people out there, and I thought I ordered the van without the creep magnet, but apparently that comes with it. So. Thanks. You have a good day. Cannon power shot mark two. Rest in peace. I think I'm just extra mad at him because if he had not been standing there, the wind would not have broken my camera. I would have got the shot. I would have been done. That wind would have passed. We would have been good to go. See? I'm never being nice to creeps again. I'm not doing it. I'm not gonna do it. Well, that camera is busted and broken forever. I thought it would still work, but it's not even like closing. Yeah. RIP $500 camera. Another news, it is very beautiful here. I've been trying to film my van tour video all day long. All day long. And it's so windy. Not to mention it's 5,000 degrees here in St. George right now. <laughs> loving this. I'm loving this for us. Hashtag bad life. <laughs> I can't do anything. I just, I give up. I give up today. Today's not the day. I think I'm gonna just drive north somewhere just so I can finish filming. I've been trying to film for a couple days now and I just end up driving around in my car for the AC because it's so fucking hot. So that's where we are today. So I'm heading to Best Buy. I think that was just the world telling me that I needed a new camera. That screen has been like flopping and making like weird sounds for a while. So maybe it's just time for a new camera. 
So I didn't actually replace the camera. It was $650. So we're gonna hold off on that for a while. I did, however, try to break my other two cameras this week. Oh my God. Almost lost my Canon 80D and I almost lost my GoPro. Yeah, I ate shit because I was trying to vlog in the wind in Bryce Canyon. But we're good. We have two working cameras. Very happy about it. Very grateful for that. I actually decided I'm going to peace out from St. George. It's been fun. It's been a good time. But there's some people I met at VanFest up at Moab right now. So I'm going to go join them. It's a four and a half hour drive. So before I leave, I'm going to go pick up my favorite healthy meal from Rumby. Chicken, veggies, rice, and that magic sauce. Good stuff. I'm gonna pick up two orders of that and just keep it in my fridge. But that's probably like three nights of dinners, so that'll be great. All right, guys, we are ready to go. Finally made a decision. We're gonna drive through Zion to get to Bryce Canyon. Maybe I park there tonight, or maybe I go all the way to Moab, but we're taking the scenic route, so here we go. <laughs> It's so funny, I've had a couple people like mansplain to me, like turn your car around, it's on the other side, which it looks like it would be on the other side, but actually it has a really cool feature. It's right by the door, so no one can siphon your gas. But so many people, especially dudes, have been like, you're on the wrong side. I'm like, thanks, but I got it covered. All right. I guess people have been having problems with getting their diesel siphoned, I don't know. But yeah, it's deceiving, because usually it's back there. But anyways, I need to be a responsible diesel owner. I have to find diesel engine fluid, death, death fluid. Some people say you can pump it into your car. I don't see anything like that. I'm gonna go in and ask. Or maybe it's just something you buy, like windshield wiper fluid, I don't know. I wish someone would mansplain me that. No, I appreciate people trying to help, I really do. It's happened like five times now, it's just funny, whatever. Diesel was like $4.12 in Los Angeles, and it's three dollars and thirty-four cents here. Definitely filling up before I go. I recently got a diesel truck, and I don't know anything about the diesel engine fluid. Do you know anything about that? I mean the uh, the death fluid or whatever death? it is. Yeah. Uh, do you guys sell that? We actually do. Oh, you sell it in the bottles? Oh, okay. It's this. Yes. Okay. Cool. It's sixteen thirty-five, I think, for the box. Okay. Cool. All right. I think I'll wait because I have like three quarters of my death fluid. Famous last words, right? All right, let's see where we're at. It's a little less than three quarters full. I think it prompts you when you need to fill it up, so. I've heard it's good to get it um, at the pump though because it's more fresh. I know not what I'm doing. I wish there was a man to mansplain this to me. It's funny how like sometimes I'll complain about men mansplaining things to me, but then when you need a man, you don't got a man. Just kidding. I like making fun of men who mansplain, but I genuinely appreciate that they're trying to help, so. <sighs> so between the creepy guy and everything breaking in life, I think I need a breather. I know, a few more crystals will cleanse that bad energy. Oh crap, I'm in trouble. Gems, rocks, and jewelry. Yes, please. I mean, there's no hurt in looking and see if anything tickles my fancy. I don't get that saying. Like, what part of your body is your fancy? And please don't tickle it. That's disgusting. Tickle your fancy. I bet there's a gemstone in there for me, just waiting for me. Just calling my name. Oh my gosh. Springdale is so dang beautiful. So many great memories here. <laughs> What's your favorite? Well, I like diamonds. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay. Hey, you got good taste. You go for the good stuff. How many crystals are too many crystals? God, 
I love them though. They make me so happy. Oh, Robin, I'm so happy. So that was Silver Bear Enterprises. If you guys swing through Springdale, they're a little overpriced. We're right at the entrance of Zion, so of course everything here is overpriced, but I mean, if you don't mind getting some overpriced crystals, I spent the same amount for two gemstones as I did for like seven yesterday in St. George, but they're pretty, I like them. And I looked up the meanings and stuff, and I'm like, I don't know, I'm like really getting into crystals and gems. I'm not really. I just think they're pretty, I don't know. I'm digging them lately, so we're going with it. Woo! hot. I just want to go north right now. It's so hot. I was going to go to Florida, but I think I have to break my brother's heart. I think I'm going to go north and go up the west coast first and then go around and then come down the east coast during the fall time. That makes more sense, especially because I don't have AC, but I just want to see my brother so bad. He lives in Florida. My toilet was just delivered there, so I'm not going to have a toilet like for the whole whole trip but that's okay we're gonna we're gonna manage we're gonna make do i pissed in a cup the other day so i'm still alive i'm still breathing i have a little less dignity but other than that we're fine how do i get out of here it's right by the teepee if anyone's interested i'm taking the long route to moab which is probably not the best choice but the view though i don't want to just be on the 15 the whole time so we're going through zion hopefully they don't charge me for being the tall kid in class because they charge extra for motorhomes and stuff like that but we'll see. do i need my id i don't think i've signed it yet okay that sounds good i can get to bryce through here right Correct. awesome thanks thank you should I just keep it, or do you want to see it? She was not a fan of me. Not a fan, not a fan. Was it the no bra in Utah thing? It might have been the no bra in Utah. You gotta wear a bra in Utah, guys. You're gonna get looks. You're gonna get looks. It's not gonna be pretty. I kid, I kid, <laughs> but I'm not kidding. You guys hear that? Another road life casualty. Damn it. That's lame. That's real lame. This is just not my day today. In fact, it's not my week. Within the span of about four days, I broke my camera. I ate shit and almost broke my kneecap. I broke my macrame hanging. Does anybody have any super glue? That's so stupid. I hate that. I hate that so much. Okay, well, maybe I'll figure out how to tie it. I mean, we could super glue that. Oh, well, we'll deal with that later. Mac is is so aggressive like calm down girl calm down it's trying to get the pretty nature shot that's all i'm trying to do all right i just did a full-on photo shoot let's hit the road okay i have to get some snacks how did this happen? <laughs> Seriously, I think I've just accepted that my van's gonna get super dirty every day. Remind me to latch that back up. Stay. Snacks. Where are my snacks at? Oh yeah. See how glamorous van life is? Ooh, chocolate. Don't mind if I do. My God, I could just sit here all day. This is stupid. Gorgeous. So I've officially decided every time I post to Instagram, I'm posting a fail photo. There's so many more fail photos than pretty ones. They're pretty embarrassing, but pretty hilarious. Oh, there's a snack. Snack split all over the place. God damn it, it's hot. Oh, oh yeah, that's, that's, that's nice. pulling over every so often because I like to get these swipe videos with the door. Might as well, we're here. When in Rome or when on Mars, am I right? What the heck is this place? Actually pulling over was a great idea because I lost all that traffic. You have to wait in a line to get through the tunnel. So if you just like pull over and park for a second, you have the whole road to yourself, it's magical. I certainly 
hope we're going the right way. My navigation cut out and there is no service. So we're just gonna keep going on this road. I think if you drive through Zion, you'll end up at Bryce Canyon. Or we'll end up somewhere else. It's gonna be one of the two. That I do know. Yeah, we're just gonna drive straight for a while. I'm sure it's gonna end well. I grew up a very scared person. I was scared of the ocean. I was scared of strangers. I was a very shy little kid. I mean, not in front of my friends and family. Like I was the goofball and like love making people laugh. I'm very extroverted, but this is way out of my comfort zone. I'm excited to see where this journey takes me because every time I do push myself past that little point of comfort, amazing things happen in my life. So I'm just kind of following my instinct. And it's not easy, but it's also been amazing. The people I've met already are amazing and just seeing these new places, it's all really cool. I really did it so far. But I don't like when people like other me, like, oh, you're just like an adventurous type of person. I'm like, really not. I love being outdoors. I love hiking. I love exploring. I'm like scared to do it on my own, but I've been wanting to do van life for quite some time now. And I always said like, once I'm married or have my partner, I'll do it. I could be waiting forever at that point. So I'm doing it alone just because I want to do it at some point in my life and I'm not going to wait for the right person to come along. Maybe I'll find the right person on the journey. Ooh, Ella, lost my phone. Lost. Oh, oh, I see signs. Bryce Canyon National Park. What is up? All right, well, we went the right way. Now, where does one pee is the question. Isn't that kind of always the question though? Oh God, my toilet's in Florida. <gasps> Bryce Canyon, 60 miles away. Saturday, so I kind of expected the campgrounds to be full, but that bike path's looking real nice right now. Looking real nice. I haven't really worked out today. I think I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Okay, so check it out. Bike path is here. And right behind us, I found some BLM parking. I see a bunch of like motorhomes and stuff over there. We're pretty close to Bryce, but I'm gonna hit up the pool to party before we go over there because I have learned my lesson. Ooh, hello sunset. Okay, I'm digging this vibe. I'm digging it. It's so much better pulling into somewhere in the daylight, so you can kind of see your surroundings. I had to learn that lesson the hard way twice. Joshua Tree and where else? Oh, there were a couple other places, but Joshua Tree was by far the worst. Whew, it's kind of actually chilly here, which I'm excited about because the whole thing the last couple of days is I've been annoyed because um, I couldn't really film anything. It's been so hot. It is really chilly. Ooh. Oh, hey, Mac. Looking good. Yeah, real chilly out here. Gonna use extra blankets tonight. Oh, God. Worst part of them. Oh, no toilet paper. Are you kidding? Shh. <laughs> Where's my toilet? <gasps> good thing I come prepared. Yeah, I got lots of toilet paper. It's fine. We'll be fine. It's fine. It's all fine. My toilet's in Florida. There's one camper camping out. What's up, friend? There's some campers over there. Someone sleeping in their car. Camper up here. There's gotta be a spot. It actually looks like little campsites, kind of. Little SUV. See, these are nice campers. They don't look like the meth lab campers that I found in Joshua Tree. These are like normal people campers. Yay. Ooh, look at these little rigs right here. Nice. This feels like actual camping. It's pretty cool. Camping limit 16 days. 
Oh, this looks, this looks fun. He looks friendly. He looks like a nice animal dude. Should I ask him what the deal is? Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Um, is this just like BLM land pretty yeah, much? Anyone can park? Okay, so you can just park wherever yeah. and it's pretty yeah, safe. Okay. Okay, cool, thank you. Okay, this is awesome. We got some little campfires happening over here. Which I like, I like that there's a lot of people around. Makes me feel more comfortable somehow. I think I'm gonna tuck my butt right up under this tree. Yeah, we're gonna back in. I like this spot, I like it. Maybe not, it's not very level. <laughs> I'm just gonna manifest my husband right now. Like, this is something that'd be so much more fun with somebody else because the ridiculousness of the situations at least you're in it together, you know? But someday, someday. Oh. There's gotta be a spot. Ew. It's like daddy money trailers in here. I don't know, Mac. You got what it takes to make it up here? Ooh, baby. I don't know, some people have hammocks there. I'm gonna go ask them if it's cool if I, I chill here for the night. Hi. I don't know where to park. Is that an okay spot or am I in your guys' Backyard. Oh, oh no problem. Is that fine? I don't know where to park. Really. It's hard when it's dark. Yeah. <laughs> You're kind of driving all over the place, but there's, there's no problem. It's fine. You can okay. stay there. Just wanted to check with you guys. Thank you. Okay. We're friendly. I'll be quiet. <laughs> yeah, that's totally fine. It actually makes me feel at home, so no problem. All right. Well, they seem nice. So I feel comfortable kind of sleeping in their backyard a little bit. I really hope I'm not encroaching on their space, but everybody's just kind of like parked wherever out here. It's kind of a smorgasbord, but I'm gonna hang out my blackout curtains just cause I'm gonna turn my lights on in the back. You don't really need to be too stealthy out here, I guess. It probably doesn't matter, but I'm gonna get my PJs and be changing my clothes. So I don't really want people to see me. It's really pretty out. Holy crap. We're in the mountains. Oh my God, I'm excited. All right, let there be light. <gasps> yes. It gets so messy so fast. So I'm gonna clean up a bit and I'll be back with you. Well, here we are. I'm just going to do some editing tonight and crash pretty soon. It's 9-11. I have some rumby in there if I get hungry. I'm not even that hungry. I snacked on so many nuts on the way up here. Speaking of snacking, I had a bunch of these chocolates and I'm actually very surprised that everything that's in here stays like intact. It doesn't melt, it stays nice and cool. Kind of impressed. It's kind of hard to see in here, huh? Anyway my sweet little setup. I have my blankets up here. I have my pillow under there. So do we have any bars? I've got two bars so I can post some stuff if I want. Living the life. I just opened my door. Look how pretty the moon looks. I've never really had this experience. Like every time I've been camping, you're like in a tent on the cold ground. It's so nice having my warm, cozy bed right there. Looking at the moon and the stars. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Oh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. For some reason in my van, when I lock the doors from the inside, they don't always lock. I don't know why I always have to check them. One, that one's good. And that one's good. That one's good. It's the back one sometimes. We gotta check you, girl. We gotta check you. Oh, we're locked. Good to go. If you made it to the end of the video, write windstorm down in the comments. That's how I know who my true peeps are. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, share it with your friends. See you tomorrow.